Uh, thank you, SMS, for your reply. Uh, I just want to ask if the ministry would still consider uh, the relocation plans that actually the grassroots uh, community has actually presented. In fact, they have this thing called the Robinson Petang 2.0. Uh, where they have actually suggested alternative sites and including uh, how to manage the disamenities. I think it's important to know that uh, what happened here in Sungai Road is that it is a placemaking that is very, very genuine and real. And by removing it, actually, we are actually taking away that placemaking possibility. Uh, if it is something that is already grounds up and alive, why take it away? Why not have a relocation, put them there, and at the same time manage the disamenities, which I think is something that we can do. Thank you. Again, I would, do, I would like to thank the member for uh, his supplementary question. Um, as I've said earlier, uh, I think we understand that uh, the SRHZ uh, hold form memories for a number of Singaporeans. And in fact, because of that, we have got NHB to um, do research as well as uh, documentation uh, and put this up together with a virtual tour on their heritage uh, portal. Um, SRHZ used to be a place where uh, you could find very unique antiques, knickknacks, and so on. But I think over time, the uh, nature of the site has uh, changed, both in terms of the profile of the users of the site as well as the buyers and the type of goods sold. So in fact, if you go to the SHRZ now, the most common type of goods sold there, and not necessarily second-hand goods, but including second-hand goods will be clothes, watches, handphone covers, cables, as well as shoes. Goods that are not unique to uh, or only sold at the SRHZ. In fact, you can find it in neighbourhood shops too. And indeed, the sale of second-hand goods is not limited to the SRHZ. There are already existing avenues where such goods are sold, say, in the flea markets, existing flea markets, which are actually ground up initiatives also from the community mostly, uh, and also online. So in view of that, for those SRHZ users who want to continue to ply the trade, we are offering them relocation alternatives, concrete relocation alternatives, either in lockup stores in the hawker centres and markets, or at existing flea markets uh, where the goods sold are not incompatible to what the SRHZ users uh, wants to sell. And in fact, by offering them, say, lockup stores, it is a more sustainable, permanent solution. And they can actually use it to expand their offerings beyond what they are selling currently. And as I've said, transition, there will be some uh, uncertainties, and we are doing our very best to help them. So, Notwithstanding this, obviously, if there are other ground-up efforts in terms of flea markets that the community wants to uh, create and put up, some of these SRHZ users uh, conceivably can also join them. <laughs>